Squad! Are we looking at the next American heavyweight champion? Oh, what a shot! My time is now, baby. I'm 32 and 0 with 32 knockouts. When you talk about the heavyweight division, you cannot speak about it without speaking about Deontay Wilder's name. Deontay Wilder seems that rarest of big men, lethal and lean. A six foot seven, 230 pound amalgam of power, athleticism, and charisma. The things that I do, the character inside and outside of the ring, that's what they've been yearning for. They've been looking for a sign heavyweight. Down he goes! And now they have found that. I'm the man to wrestle with, Mr. Burns! Anybody. You watch out, cause I'm coming, Anybody. baby! What Wilder doesn't have is a title. That he'll have to take from a rugged and dangerous champion. More formidable than anyone he's ever faced. In his mind, he thinks it's, it's a joke or something. I don't see it like that. Berman Stavern <laughs> believes he's the future of the heavyweight division. And while he's not given to antic expression, he'll be the one posing the questions January 17th. Is Wilder a fighter or merely an athlete? A familiar form of counterfeit or the herald of a new age? This is judgment day for him. Shall be mine if I hold my peace. Victor shall be mine. If Deontay Wilder seems confident, it's because none of his opponents have survived beyond the fourth round. Still, critics have questioned the caliber of opposition in accumulating his perfect 32 and 0 record. A lot of them are impressed by the knockouts, but the certain things that they want to see from me, the certain opponents that they want to see, and uh, I think this is going to be an icebreaker for a lot of people. Play my theme song music while we ride. Thank on Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder. Ali. Ali. Lenny Lewis. I be bringing from SWAT, from SWAT, from SWAT, SWAT. From SWAT, from SWAT, from SWAT, SWAT. The Mason Burn, where we get. A lot of heavyweights are jealous of me, and they say different things about me because they can't and they're not doing what I'm doing. I'm a true athlete. I'm the type of person that if you show me how to do it, I could do it. Deontay walked in the door in late 2005, and he told me he wanted to box, but I hear that all the time. He was a late arriver to the sport. Most guys start at anywhere from 8 to 12 years old. Deontay started at almost 20. But within two months, we had already had him sparring professional boxers. And I remember my first time sparring the pro. I dropped him. I dropped him on the canvas. I remember him going down, and my eyes got so big. Time. But the guy looks over at me, and he says, whatever you do, keep him. It's a matter of technique. You knew once you hit him, he was coming left hook, and you saw it, didn't you? That's good. Have you ever been in a place where you knew you was at the right place at the right time? Almost wasn't like a hallelujah, like a hallelujah moment, man, I swear. I feel like this was my last opportunity to become somebody. Pick your spot, pick your spot. Wilder's natural athleticism led to a rapid rise, winning a bronze medal in the Beijing Olympics before turning pro in 2008. Right hand up. It was then that Dees recruited another Olympian, Mark Breland former gold medalist and welterweight champ, to help train Wilder. Now their charge is considered America's best hope to reclaim the heavyweight title. A camera-ready star, eager to give the division what it's been missing. I'm not scared to talk. I'm not scared, because I'm gonna bag it up. <laughs> but I'm on one mission. It's obtain glory, and then we'll say no words, three words, and the new. <laughs> I'm coming with 110% of Alabama power, baby. I'm going to whoop somebody. Hey! 
I know he's talking, talking a lot of smack, talking a lot of, doing a lot of trash talk. What trash belongs in trash. If Wilder's persistent taunting is meant to unnerve Stavern, it hasn't worked. Arriving at the WBC convention, the champ remains unchanged. Careful in his choice of words, confident in his demeanor. I'm not much of a talker. I was never uh, like that. I wasn't raised like that. Raphael! <laughs> this is not a rap battle. This is not Jeopardy. At the end of the day, where we solve all of this is in the ring. What's up, man? <laughs> I like that. I like that. Nigga. What's up, Mike? How you doing, man? How you doing? Really good. The belt he holds admits him to an exclusive fraternity. Not just champions, but legends. Men whose histories were written on the backs of fallen foes. Stavern gained his entrance with two bloody battles against the heavy-handed Chris Ariola. I always told myself that I gotta fight for the title. It's what I wanted. Number one versus number two in the main event of the evening. Three rounds into their first fight, Stavern demonstrated his power, breaking Ariola's nose with an overhand right the start of a brutal beating that went the distance. The whole fight, I'm watching him, like, he's like, ah, the blood is like coming down and he can't breathe. And I think I threw almost 800 punches. And I was like, oh, I just beat, beat the toughest guy out there. Stiburn was proclaimed the winner by unanimous decision. Only his opponent still seemed to doubt him. He's saying the reason why he lost the first fight is because I broke his nose, and if he, if he was me, he would have knocked me out or whatever. When I heard that, I said, okay, then we gotta fight. And this time I gotta knock him out. A year later, they met again. This time for the vacant WBC title. In the first round, I was so confident. I was just waiting on him to, to come in, and uh, right at the end of the, the round, he came in careless, and I caught him with a hook, and he wobbles or something like that. <laughs> and I remember I told him to go sit down <laughs> and get some water. <laughs> By the sixth, Ariola succumbed to a powerful barrage. Hey, you okay? Can you continue? That's it, that's it, that's it, man. I was just like, is this happening like right now? Is, uh, I'm, I'm heavyweight champion of the world. After 10 years as a pro, Berman Stiburn is preparing for something entirely new. Entering the ring as the heavyweight champion of the world. I'll be making my first defense at the MGM. This fight is, the hype is big, everything is big. Uh, they probably realize that he's not what he say he is. It's only one WBC heavyweight champion of the world. And it's only gonna be one for a long time. Very long time. So I'm just letting y'all know. We got this. Twelve. Nice. Six more, D. Go ahead. Though Wilder's known for making short work of his opponents, this time he's leaving nothing to chance. Preparing for the longest and toughest fight of his career. Squeeze at the top. Close yes. through it. Good. Nice. For a heavyweight to be able to do this, it shows you how dynamic and athletic Deontay yes. really is. When we break camp, yes. he will be the best conditioned heavyweight in the world. Cool. Good. Nice. Awesome. Good. I work my ass out, man. 
Every day, you see it. Everybody got their own story. Everybody got their hard times that they've been through. I got mine too. Growing up was no worries, no responsibility, just myself. All of a sudden, life changes, just like that. That's where my journey real started. Wilder's path to the gym began at 19, when he learned he was about to become a father. His daughter, Naia, would be born with spina bifida, a congenital deformity of the spinal cord. Doctors telling us how she may be in a wheelchair, may would never be able to walk. They had to break her where her um, hips was dislocated. So they had to put the little braces on her hips and stuff. In his hope to provide for Naia, Deontay turned to boxing, a sport he'd never tried. He now sought to master. He was stepping up to the plate to be a man. When he get through training, he'll come pick up the baby every day. What motivated me through so much, man. If it wasn't her going through what she'd have been through, I wouldn't have learned that's how I learned, man, the things that I learned. Boxing would be me, man. <laughs> Hey. Hey. You had a good day at school? Yeah. Did you read today? Yes. What did you read? It's a very long chapter book. Really? Yes. You know, each and every day she still learned to try to be somebody. She still, you know, she wanna do everything on her own. And all the surgeries she done been through throughout life, man, it's just yeah. we holding each other's hands. You gotta watch for them cars, huh? She done been through so much but we didn't got through it together. Got to be thankful. And now that I have this opportunity, I can't let her down. It's customary for the freaks to do it. Very customary. What do we eat? What is it called? Call spaghetti. Oh, wait a minute. Meatballs. Wait a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on. Huh? We come over from Haiti and you cooking some spaghetti? Hell yeah. It's spaghetti the Haitian way. Pretty much. You got it? Good to go. Back home, we work a little different. Everybody get up and get their own food. Is it ready? Hell yeah, it's ready. The man got a 100% record. On paper, I'm supposed to get knocked out. I'll put it like this. If I if I wasn't in the gym doing what I'm supposed to do, I'd be worried. Let him see what a real heavyweight feel like getting hit. I don't think he had too many of those. Here we go. Ready? Yes, sir. Lord Jesus, we come to you with sound minds and humble hearts today, very humbly. Lord Jesus, we ask you for the many blessings you have given us and you are about to give us, Lord Jesus. Yes, we'll accept them. There's no pressure on us. Pressure all on him. He's the greatest, next American heavyweight champion. We renew our strength, Lord Jesus, as we work so hard in training camp to get Deontay ready. He's either great or he's not. There's no in between. We're going to find out. In the name of Jesus, we say in prayer, amen. Amen. And the new. And the new. The other, the belt. But you need both to make heavyweight history. It's a lot of words that have been exchanged between me and my opponent. He's a boxer, I'm a boxer. Why nobody's talking about him? And the news. Good. Good. Bring your hands up. Last time I checked, I, I got the biggest crown in sport history. I mean, uh, Deontay doesn't have anything I want.
big men. Big egos. Wilder, there's a right hand. Down he goes. And there, a straight right hand drops Malik Scott. A division long known for histrionics. We got the antidote to Bermain. He ain't nothing but a two-trick pony. I'm like the IRS fraud. <laughs> I, think, I think that's what he is, a fraud. But this isn't for show. The animosity is authentic. There's everything you want through that door. Mutual. This is going to be ugly. I'm talking about the pain. I really want to hurt him. The road to glory is paved with bad intentions. Either you're going to get him or he's going to get you. He's going to go. I'm going to hurt him bad, very bad. And the new! Stiburn versus Wilder, Saturday, January 17th, live on Showtime.